Radiation. And so I'm participating in an online contest. It's, it's really just a Fukushima awareness thing, and we're promoting this movie on Fukushima Beach. And these are all the websites. Our goal is to get people actively involved. Yeah, because this is to get like informed. Time bomb. Take, please take one of our flyers or take a couple. It gives you information on websites, on where to go, and what to do. That's the new media. That's we right. Can't trust our government anymore. No, we can't. No, That's we right. Get and why would they tell us we're gonna die? Right? Well, the fact is, until we start talking about radiation, we're not gonna solve the problem. You know, so we have and to talk stuff about up it. At Hanford too. Oh, you know? oh Hanford is please. Imminent. It's just buried. inevitable. At some point, we're gonna feel it, whether we like it or not. So we better do this. It's right on the Columbia River. Well, right? you know what? Right. Lots of people <laughs> are feeling it in Hanford. Lots yeah. of people up there are sick. You know, radiation makes children born with small brains, and there's oh. lots of children that have defects. Many, many things. Many, 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 many things. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. You look at all the depleted uranium. There's defects over in the Middle East. I mean, yes. it's all about the children. It, it is. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yep, it's all about the children. You know? Yeah, I'll check it out. And I please do call your senators and congressmen and demand hearings. Ron Wyden is hesitating to create a hearing. Henry Waxman has requested a hearing on Fukushima, and we need to actually ask for, you know, somebody like from Beyond Nuclear or Kevin Blanche, you know, people who actually understand from the truth side, not the propaganda side. We need to get those people in front of our Congress people. They have people. different levels of millisieverts and vesicles, and nobody knows what that means. That's exactly and right. They're just like Those are just numbers to confuse us. Well, thank you for stopping. So here, yeah, let's take a picture of Jana taking a picture of us. Hey, Jana. She's the world famous videographer from the Eugene Media Group. Awesome human being. We yeah, have to please do walk to through. Have people in, in it, like right. Shot okay, the people actually check it out. The, Look at okay? exactly you know, right. This is gonna. We're actually participating in a, a YouTube challenge, a Fukushima protest challenge. That's what this is about. Andrew Abisu actually created these movies. Radiation glasses. Free radiation glasses. And as you can see, some people yeah, have unfortunately taken the air flag. Yeah. That's right, on Fukushima Beach, that's right. It's super important for all of us to just start getting active. You guys are free to join us on the 28th of September. We're going to go out to Oregon State University and yeah. just walk around, peaceful protest, carry the sign, and call out the nuclear liars that come out of Oregon State University. In New York. He's in New York, and we're in U we're in Oregon. Isn't the radiation hitting the West Coast though? Actually, the radiation is everywhere, and the way the wind blows, it goes up Canada and then back over, like there's very high levels of radiation over St. Louis and the, and the Midwest because the, the way the air currents blow over it, it actually, there's a lot of radiation on that. So the middle part of the country, but we're all going to be getting it. I mean, it's, you know. When does it, I know that because of like tidal waves, what, last year? Yeah, two years, two and a half years now ago. Finally right, and it's going to be coming. Well, that's in the water, but in the air, like right now. In July, the number three power plant had a complete fire and a complete meltdown. It went into China syndrome, and I don't know if you've looked, but if you go, the ocean is actually bubbling off the coast of Fukushima because of the China syndrome. It's the corium has melted its way through to the ocean. And so the steam that comes up is radioactive fallout that's in the air. That's why I put on there, do not let the rain get on your body. Because one little gamma ray, what happens with plutonium is it attaches to your bones. And it sits there and multiplies over years and years, which is why it takes 15 to 20 years to present with cancer. So it's super important to protect yourself. I also put on there that book, uh, Healthy Healing Book, so that you can learn natural methods to stave off radiation. Right. And and actually apple pectin. There's a lot of like the green like 
on Transpire Lena and Dory and that kind of thing that will um, actually help with um, either, you know, reversing or inhibiting where the radiation would, like, the particles would attach. Right. I would seriously not eat mushrooms. Mushrooms have been shown to absorb radiation talking, faster I'm than everything. I'm I, personally, I, I mean, I'm done eating fish, I'm done eating mushrooms, and I'm done eating anything that comes out of a okay, cow. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> that's that's me. <laughs> well, I hope your radiation glasses help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Don't we love the radiation glasses, you guys? I have to have a pair for my granddaughter. Oh. Well, you're free to take a pair. One guy came up and took six pairs at once. He's like, can I have six? And I'm like, sure, you want six? Please do. Look at our fabulous size food. Log on, you guys. today. Yeah. We brought like 10 drums. Express.